Hello everybody, today we're going to be doing something a little different. You may have an old wool jersey in your closet that mysteriously seems to be getting smaller and smaller each year. Well, we're going to see if we can solve that problem. I've got a kit on me here that's 100% wool that I purchased on eBay a while ago and when I bought it it was way too small and it's still way too small. We're going to see if we can stretch it out a little bit. Let's check it out. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is fill up a sink with warm water and put some hair conditioner in it. Uh, according to the internet, we want to put about two tablespoons of hair conditioner or baby shampoo into the water and make sure it's mixed really well. Okay, now we're going to start soaking the wool in the mixture and uh, this is old hat for anyone that washes wool clothes. This is how I wash my wool clothes in the sink with some wool light. Uh, so we're going to put the uh, jersey in. We're going to put the shorts in. And we are going to let them soak for approximately 20 minutes. I think I went 25 minutes. I used an antique porcelain bedpan to keep the uh, clothing under the water. Just to make sure everything was soaked through. Now you've got to get the excess water out and you don't really want to wring the clothes out like you would uh, when you twist them, but just to squeeze them really well and make sure you can get all that excess water out. Now you want to put a big clean towel out somewhere and lay the clothes out flat on the towel. Take another towel and pat it dry. Again, we're just trying to remove any excess water. Now it's time to stretch the clothing. You want to do this with a firm hand, but don't go crazy. You don't want to rip anything. So first I, I did it in this horizontal direction. Then I did it lengthwise, trying to make sure everything was as even as I could make it. I didn't want to stretch one side out more than the other. Don't forget the arms and the cuffs. And just because this was such a small jersey on me, I went through and stretched it again. And one of the things I wanted to mention is that you're not supposed to rinse out the conditioner or the baby shampoo once you take the garment out of the soak. So you just leave it in while you stretch and while it dries. Now you just find a good spot to let the wool dry and in a day or so you should be good to go. Okay, so I went through the entire process, waited for the kit to dry, tried it on and nothing happened. Didn't seem to change much at all, surprisingly. So I went through, repeated the steps, did the whole thing all over again and this time it did seem to make a difference. The kit seemed to go up about a size and it does fit better, not quite as good as I'd like it to fit, so I may try it one more time. But I was curious as to why it wasn't working out, and I looked at the tagging in just to make sure it was 100% wool, and uh, underneath the 100% lana, it said superwash wool in Italian. I had to look it up and translate it to find out what it meant. Superwash wool is a special kind of wool that's been impregnated with nylon or some other kind of chemical bath, to make it so that you can throw it in the washing machine and it won't shrink. So I'm guessing that's why uh, my stretching of the jersey didn't work out too well. So we're going to have to try this again in the near future with a 100% wool jersey that hasn't been adulterated with any kind of chemicals or nylon or any super wash wool. Uh, so look forward to seeing that in the near future. We will see you next time. Bye bye.